Um, so let's try to create the same building and I would like um, to invite you to join me and create this on your um, computer. And then I think that's the best way to try the software and learn how it works. So this is the app and you're creating a new project here. You can always go back to the home screen and create more project or just open projects that you've already worked on. So let's open a new project and we have the first floors are the eight floors, the mixed use floor, and then the seven typical residential floors. And we have 104 units, and this is a residential and community facility building. We are in the US, so we're working on Imperial, feet and inches. Um, and we can insert the dimensions, the height of the building. So let's say the maximum height is 170 feet and the base height is 60, the maximum base height, sorry, is 105 feet and the minimum base height is 60 feet. And let's continue. So now we need to select the lot type. So we should be selecting the lot that is mostly similar to what we're doing, but we can really edit it later on um, through the lot editor screen, and which is the next screen. So I've selected the interior lot, which is a regular lot in New York City with one street line. And the street line is recommended to be always at the bottom of the screen. We can also create different type of lots and then of course edit it to corner lot or to two corner lots. So in corner lot, the largest or the longest street wall, we recommend it to be at the bottom. And in two corner lots, um, we recommend that uh, if you would like a U-shaped building, that the bottom of the U-shape will be um, at the bottom of the screen. But let's go back to actually, let's undo and get back to interior lot. And let's enter here. 165 feet um, and then 100 and next. Now we have um, the floor plate of the building, but we would like only 83 feet length, street floor length and 67 deep building. And don't forget to apply the changes and you can try many shapes. So if we're doing different shapes, think of a double loaded corridors. Um, and so the depth should be between 50 to 75 feet. And only the corner rectangles are up to 50 feet depth. Um, and all the rest are two loaded corridor. Um, so let's move it to the other side of the lot and then continue. This is the core selection screen. So we should select the core layout that we would like to have for the project, but then we can also edit it as much as we want. We can see the number of staircases and the number of elevators that the system recommends. We would also, we would actually like two elevators only. So let's select that option. And here you really need to think of your minimum room size, the average of a living room and a bedroom on the typical floor. And in this case, I would like it to be uh, nine feet. So 108 inches by 10 feet. And don't forget to apply the changes. Um, so you can see all the options the system will offer. And I would actually like, um, let me see, um, this option, option number seven, and generate the building. So we're having the first portion of the building in 3D and then go back to 2D, we can continue to design the typical floor or the first floor, whatever you guys would like to start with. So let's press on the typical floor and edit it. The only changes that I would like to do is moving the stair. Now moving the door of the stair, you press on the door, you press on the dot and you change the location. All the rest looks fine to me, you see. The front walls are the window walls at the front and back. And the dark walls are the side walls, the lot line walls where we cannot place legal light and air and no legal rooms along those walls. Now, you see it's units area, but once you press on an area, you always get this use. So we can change it to different uses, commercial, community facility, parking, and of course, residential like we have now. And when we're on the residential portion, we have to make sure we're on the units area type 
so the algorithm can actually design the layout of the apartments and plan area. And for this floor, I would like to create um, for every floor, let's say um, two studios and two one bedrooms. And we have a total of nine rooms, so we're fine here. Um, and you really need to check um, your, your numbers, your metrics, and that's the maximum available area. And it's better, it's recommended to be under and a maximum of nine rooms along this elevation for every floor. And you can also change your settings of the unit area, the minimum um, area for every unit type and the price per square foot for every unit type. And let's continue uh, to design and generate plans. So the algorithm would start to think of different ways of designing this area. Um, so that's the design. And if I like it, then great. If I would like to change the layout, then uh, for example, I would like to have the studio, the studios are the red um, units. So I would like to have, um, yeah, the studio here and then pressing on the unit and the recalculate room would try to maximize the area for the unit or the number of rooms. And then I would like to be um, the studio here and of course recalculate the rooms because I want a room there and double clicking on a dot will eliminate it. So we designed this portion of the building and we're happy with it. We have the areas here and we have the unit information, the areas and distribution in the unit schedule for that portion. Go back to the section and let's design again the back or the rear of portion of the building plan area. I would like to have here one studio, two one bedrooms and one two bedroom uh, unit mix up to nine rooms we can actually maximize it but let's do it like that and generate the plan and now the algorithm will work um, to create our design and i actually like that design i go to the section and i continue to design the different floors um, so here is the building information and you can see the floors eight floors and the unit mix the residential net the circulation and the residential growth and efficiency for each floor and for the total of the building. Let's go back and continue to design. Always recommended to save, even though we do have auto save. Um, and then you have the distribution here, um, the height of the building for now, but let's continue to plan and let's see. So I would like to create floors between nine to 12. So nine to 12 and double clicking on the floor, pressing on the control key and selecting the floor that we would like to change to a different type of floors and clicking on the double arrow, let's say it's um, it's actually 9th to 12th floor and created a new floor. You see it has different colors and now we can change this floor. So the setback is still not happening, but we would like to change the unit mix of this floor. So let's change it to, uh, for example, I would like to create larger units. So I erase that wall and I have one unit. You can also do it through merge. So control key, you're pressing on the unit area, not on the room area, and then the merge. And that will do the same effect. And in this type of floor, I would like to have actually three studios and one, two bedrooms. So recalculate rooms for the larger unit and we're fine. Let's recalculate here to get the room and we're fine. So we have three studios from floor ninth to 12. We have three studios at the front and um, we are having um, a one, two bedroom also, and then the back units and go to section and continue to design. Now let's do the setback floors. So we're adding one, two, three, four, and control key, double click 
clicking again, double click and control and selecting the units that we would like to change the type. Clicking on the double arrow will create floors 13 through 16 and create. So we have different type of floors, different color. Let's click on that floor and change the design. Now, in order, we would like to set back 15 feet from the street wall. So either control key and then selecting the units, erasing the units with X and doing 15 feet um, setback or what we can also do is doing it with every unit by itself and then erasing the walls and so on. But let's do the one, the, the way that I showed you at the beginning, undo, and then select floors and erase them. And with the measurement tool, let's do 15 feet here, set back, and then click again on the measurement tool will cancel it. Do the setback, press on the unit, plan the area. I would like to have two one bedrooms here. Generate the plans. Now, as you can see, the bar is working and apply it. And now we have the third floor. You can see the 3D of our building. You can see the building information with all the building information, including the upper floors, the setback floors that has different um, layouts. And um, let's continue to design.